Hi everyone, this is Guillaume from Loes. In this video, we'll look into the navigation and our themes support mega menus with images. And this is quite a popular feature, so we'll cover that as well. Before we go any further, let's just make sure we fully grasp how Shopify handles navigation menus. Those are configured in your admin under online store in the navigation tab. Menus in Shopify support up to three levels and the structure of your navigation is determined by how you built it in the Shopify admin, but the layout is customized in the theme editor. As a reference, we'll make a distinction between parents and children menu items. So in this example, shop and shop all are both parent menu items, whereas headphones, earbuds and speakers are children of shop all. Let's go in the theme editor now and see how this is rendered. On large screen, by default, the first level will be displayed in the header. The second and third levels are laid out as cascading dropdowns. To change that, you must open the header settings. In the layout settings, you will find a few options that you might want to try. But if a mega menu is what you're looking for, this is being customized with the other setting just above. So to turn a drop-down menu into a mega menu, you must type in the label of its parent menu item from the first level and make sure it's spelled the exact same way. I'm adding the item shop. In this example, hovering the mouse over shop now opens a mega menu. If my store had more than one menu item for which I'd want a mega menu, I would just add a comma followed by a space and the next label as described in the help text below. As you can see in the menu, the third level items are displayed below their second level parents. You could, for instance, have a menu with multiple items at the second level, each supporting third level children items. As you can also see, this menu is set up with promotional images and links. This is because I have previously added three images using the button below the header in the left sidebar. Clicking on an image to open its settings, I'm given the option to attach the image to a proper menu item. In this case, it's attached to the first level item shop, so it's laid out on the right side of the menu. If I attach more than one image to the same parent link from the first level, I can reorder those images using drag and drop in the left sidebar. Now, images in the Mega menu can also be attached to second level items. To do so, in the Menu Item field, you must write down the complete path. For example, Shop, Chevron, Shop All. And you can see that the image is now moved above the Shop All item. Here's another example with five images that have been attached to their corresponding items from the second level. Note that uh, in this particular example, each collection is built as a second level item and the lookbook links are from the third level under their corresponding parent link. So congratulations, you're now able to create your own mega menu. But there are some details that I want to highlight so that you can provide an optimal experience to your clients. If you test your navigation on mobile now, you might not be completely satisfied with how it's laid out and this store is a great example of that. Because children items require a click or a tap on touch screen to be accessed, my current navigation adds unnecessary friction for the user, especially since there are not a lot of links in my navigation. So I could prefer having every menu item exposed at the first level to remove some extra clicks. There may be another reason why you'd like a different navigation for the mobile screens, on desktop, parent menu items are reacting to both clicking and hovering. Because hovering is not possible when browsing on a phone, those parent links will only serve as a way to get to their children links. So for those reasons, you might want to have two separate navigation menus, one for large screens and one for mobile. This is why in our themes, you will be able to override the sidebar menu, which is the one that's displayed on mobile, with another one that you can build specifically for your mobile users. In this example, all the same links from the mega menu are still visible, but I removed the different levels to provide an experience that is more mobile friendly. 
So I hope you will appreciate the flexibility your theme provides and that this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and for having chosen LOS.